In preparing for this speech, I took a lot of time to think about how different parts of my life have shaped my commitment to social justice work. This took deep introspection about the foundation of this commitment, both spiritual and otherwise. I think I have a unique relationship with faith and religion. My parents very much wanted me to, have, to be exposed to different religions and spirituality through school. And they privileged me with wonderful educational experiences at a variety of private institutions. I went to a Waldorf nursery school, uh, then a Quaker elementary school, then an Episcopal middle and high school, and finally found my way back to Quakerism at Earlham College. Through all of my experiences, what I think has grounded me most is the belief that each and every living thing has dignity and has a uniqueness that they bring to the world that should be respected. I think this idea comes through in many different religions, but I've often struggled to articulate the source of that belief for me. What I can identify is a moment in my life when I believe this belief and awareness was illuminated. It began with animals at a very young age when I asked the pivotal question, what is in my McDonald's cheeseburger Happy Meal? <laughs> I don't really think you can ever fully answer that question. <laughs> but my father answered a cow and my life took a radical turn. <laughs> Never before had I truly made the connection between where our food comes from, what it contains, and then eating it. At eight years old, I immediately pictured a small cow with big, sorrowful eyes, imagining it losing its mother, and I decided I could no longer eat any food from that that was an animal that I thought was cute, basically. <laughs> yeah. um, at an early age, I recognized the injustice of our food system in this limited way. Um, and I recognized that it, it treated living things in a truly despicable manner. So I chose to do what I could and abstain from supporting such a system by not eating red meat. I think my logic in terms, in terms of this consumer power and, and now how I dedicate my time and work has evolved beyond the requirement of something being cute. <laughs> what really undergirds, under, undergirds this work is a, is a feeling of connection, of empathy, and of understanding. The recognition that each living thing deserves respect. As I continued my education, especially at Earlham and through the numerous wonderful experiences that the school gave me, I realized that the mentality that undergirds our food system, that it's okay to abuse, take advantage of, and to separate oneself from something identified as different or other, is by no means restricted to factory farming or the food industry. It is a symptom of far too many parts of our society. On Earlham's border, border studies program, I, I had that same feeling of indignation, frustration, um, but ultimately found empathy and connection in, in the face of great injustice um, while, while living in, in Tucson, Arizona. I could talk about so many uh, elements and experiences on this program, um, but it really illuminated for me the complexity of migration and immigration uh, to the United States in the current context and also the long troubled history uh, that it has. And I certainly struggle to stay hopeful um, and not be overwhelmed by the, the number of problems um, in that context that, that face the U.S. border towns um, and communities and countries from which people migrate and then migrants, immigrants, and the, their families themselves. But through this experience, I also encountered and learned so much about hope and love and the spaces and communities that provide that. I was lucky enough to assist in a preschool classroom at a Reggio-inspired elementary school in Tucson. 
I, I was a teacher's assistant in the Hopes and Dreams room at Ochoa, um, and it was a, a true haven for me, as well as for the four and five-year-olds that I spent my days with. At Ochoa, joy and love was really the foundation of education and provided an incredible forum for discussion of the deeply concerning issues that affect the Tucson community and many of the kids' families directly. One of the most memorable experiences of Ochoa for me was a reciting of a poem uh, called In Lakesh, which comes originally from a Mayan greeting. Every day before breakfast and lunch, uh, everyone in the classroom joined hands and said in Lakesh in unison. It reads, Tu eres mi otro yo. Si te hago daño a ti, me hago daño a mí mismo. Si te amo y respeto, me amo y respeto yo. You are my other me. If I do harm to you, I do harm to myself. If I love and respect you, I love and respect myself. It was so inspiring and uplifting to say this every day and to share it with such young children, four and five year olds. For me, in Lakesh is a beautiful articulation of how I wish to live in the world of a principle that I want to see reflected in all areas of our society. And I think FCNL shares this articulation through the We Seeks. So it really is an immense, immense pleasure and honor to be working with the organization now, and especially on issues that I've grown so passionate about in the past few years of my life. Not having a specific religion or faith foundation, I've often struggled or simply not explored how to explain my belief that everything on this earth has dignity and deserves respect. So one of the things I've enjoyed most uh, about my time at FCNL so far is seeing how the organization and also all of you this weekend through discussion of the policy document are articulating this belief. I'm learning more and more about how to truly identify the foundation of what drives this work for other people and also for myself. And then how to translate that belief and that foundation into policy and legislation. I think the, the phrase driven by faith grounded in policy focused on the future really, really captures, um, captures, captures this. And I'm so grateful to be part of FCNL as I now explore more deeply my own faith, um, learn more about policy every day, uh, and so grateful to have the organization and all of you supporting me in that. Thank you. <laughs>